Uh, this is Empty Shells. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Yeah, well, Brainchild. it actually started off as, as a group I started with a couple of other guys, and then the uh, guitar player left and Paul joined, and then the other guy left, so it ended up just me and Paul at that point, and we just started like, writing material together, basically, and after a while we decided the, who needed a singer, and then it just kind of went from there. We met Rebecca, we started you know, putting more songs together, and then COVID hit, there you go, it was us kind of been stuck in the house writing songs for the next two years rather than actually being able to go out and do anything with them. Yeah, pretty much. I uh, played in a band with our drummer Tamas before, years ago, and he was away in Fort William. So he was coming back to Glasgow at that point, and I was like, right, perfect. I've got a drummer, and he was up for it straight away, so there you go. It came together nicely, and as what he was saying, during that time when we had a lot of or not a lot to do, we just kind of wrote a lot of tunes and just kind of deviated the material to make sure we had 
you know, at least enough songs to do a half hour set from when we were starting and that was kinda that was kinda it for there. They've just always approached us, have they? I think they first heard of us when we released our first two tunes. Uh, they started following us and like messages about gigs and stuff, didn't they? Yeah. And then it kind of like, got a bit more intense when we released our next two singles. They were commenting and following on a lot of stuff, and we were getting a lot of kind of getting approached a lot about gigs. And then obviously we got the big in twenty twenty two thing, which was a gig and getting put on a vinyl. So we were. Pretty yeah, chuffed about that one. Cause as well, which is so yeah. Good. Uh, the proceeds for the vinyl went to Teenage Cancer Trust, which was good. And um, it's also just a buzz to have your first record cut on vinyl as well. You uh, know what I mean? Even even as part of a compilation, it's good because a lot of good stuff on it as well. There's a lot of good bands that we know, even locally, that are kind of in this feelings roster. So it was kind of a no brainer to get involved with them because we we seen how how much they'd done for these these other bands and thought, yeah, this will be good. So it was, it was an easy decision, really. They also picked a song as well, which is quite nice. They obviously yeah. liked that Sinaloa song. Which is good, actually, because mm-hmm. it was a, originally a B-side to our second single. And then, so it was, it was good to, to have, because it probably wouldn't have been the one that we'd have picked if we'd put it to a vote, you know what I mean? So it was good to, to, yeah. have, to took, have somebody else pick it for us. Took all the potential arguments out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has to walk alone. 
there's usually two separate ways it would go. It'll either be like that, where it's kind of done on an acoustic, written with vocals, with the intent of obviously getting layered and changing its format into a more kind of electric full band setup. And then there's other ones that are kind of written straight away with a lot of synth, and they have a lot of kind of work added to it. Drums and bass. Yeah. Are sometimes part of the the writing before even there's like you know chords or a guitar. So it's I just have got different different ways of doing it. You know. It's, Sitting in Nico's laptop. Basically, yeah. Yeah. One of the songs we've done there called Colours or Colour in Your Eyes is very much a synth orientated song. It's kind of a, it's almost dancey. So it was, that was a fun one to, you know, strip back because then it made me actually have to figure out the root of what I was doing in guitar with chords and all that type of thing. And it was, it was actually turned out quite, quite nice. I quite enjoyed doing it. It's good again because similar to what we were saying about the remix, it shows the song in a different context. You know what I mean? Like, because... Uh, Again, we'd, if, if it hadn't been for us coming here today, we'd, we probably still wouldn't have ever played an acoustic version of that even ourselves, you know what I mean? We wouldn't even have thought to do it. Yeah. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice challenge that way to try and kind of rework the songs in, in a way that, that works with acoustic guitars. This song is called Silhouettes. One, two, three, four... <laughs>
just living in yesterday Talking to myself Like how was somebody else When I was just living in yesterday Talking to myself like I was someone else When I was just living in yesterday Talking to myself like I was someone else When I was just living in yesterday My favourite favourite band at the moment is an American group called Bodega they're not right they're just, they're, they're just toured the UK just, I went to see them a few weeks ago in Glasgow and they bought a new album and that and they're fantastic I still listen to them now. I must have quite a lot of stuff in there personal highlights are probably Warpaint an American group who are just brilliant I also really like who you've had on here the Shambolics I've been listening to a lot recently I think they're really good Baby Strange and Declan Welsh and the Decadent West. I'm really kind of stuck on a lot of local bands right now because there's so much incredible artists right now. There's a lot of good local yeah. stuff now, it really is. So uh, you could go like Dead Pony, the list goes on. So many good bands. I'd recommend all of them. All from Glasgow as well. Well, not all, but mostly. <laughs> <laughs> I, for some day it's in a band, I don't listen to loads of bands. It's mostly like Stevie Wonder and Earth, Wind and Fire. Like, I go on holiday, I went on holiday, I'm just back for Turkey and I had to ask them to give me an album to listen. I think they can educate me all the time on all these new bands. That's, That's why band. we're here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called The Colour In Your Eyes.
later in the year we're planning on doing ideally a music video for one of our five singles and maybe a four track EP. It'll just take a bit of time to get the you know, the funding for all that sort of thing. And after we play Stag and Dagger, we're in talks with this feeling of doing a headline show for ourselves, but we haven't been given any further details about that just yet, but we know it's at least in the works, so when we know, you'll know, basically. <laughs> <coughs> this is called Rise or Fall. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. <laughs> at the end and forget the beginning making amends with your guts and your DNA the dark and the light dreaming again I don't know if I'm sleeping walking on edge don't know what to believe in the dark and the light breathing in the dark and the Breathing in the darkness, living in the sky, searching for a place where my dreams will never die. Silver or lead is a choice that we're facing, making a bet at the top of your basement. The sides to rise and fall, the choices you make are engraved in your pavement, reminding you of the mistakes that you made. Dreams will never die. 